we define that. So uh, he will, of course, everybody is bringing and nobody is holding themselves back if they have ideas or seeing things that need to be improved or that is very good. Um, but it's, it's defined that, uh, that of course, Brian and him, they, Brian will f- still focus on the defensive. Kevin will still focus on the, uh, not still, he will focus now on the offensive part of it. Still split key players between them so we make sure we have the individual touch on, on key players. And then of just bringing his, um, his knowledge and experience in. Thank you. Um, Thomas, if you had to give uh, Kevin a kind of short headline of what, you, what difference you'd like him to make, how would you summarise it? Uh, three points. Every game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how simple, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now he um, he will, he he brings that um, extra knowledge of club English football, uh, high standards, dedication, passion uh, in every aspect, and I think we. Um, that fit, you know, when you need to have four, five, six um, people to work together, I think he's the perfect fit uh, for us um, this moment in time. And he can, uh, he know, he know what it is uh, to be out there and, and suffer uh, sometimes. And he, as he said, uh, people tend to now, now they think what a great player he was. They think. I remember still there was some times where people didn't think I was that good, or they maybe uh, um, didn't support me that well. But uh, but you know what it takes. You know what it takes to. Uh, he's been through everything with this club, uh, ups and downs. Um, so he know why we in some ways are at the highest point. You know in terms of, of division and being championship, uh, but also what we have been been through the last um, many many years. So I think that's 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 top. Okay. I look back up uh, when we last asked you about this. It was I think the beginning of November. You were, I'd probably say, open-minded about whether the person should necessarily have championship experience. Have the events of recent times made you feel that actually that is a more important part of what you want from them than you might have got from a foreign coach? Uh, no, because one of the criteria was that we wanted, um, we had some criteria, one of them was that we wanted an English coach. Um, um, yeah, in the coaching staff, so was that was that was a high one, no, no matter what. Um, and of course, it's always a speculation if it's going very well or not that good. But especially when it's not going that well, um, we tend to see things or we want to see things. Uh, so this appointment will would have been uh, no matter what. Um, Marcus Gale was interviewed on the radio station this week, and he said you were a good guy, good coach, and the players respected you but they needed to endorse that respect by performing in training and stepping out on the field to play 100% prepared in the warm-up. I think this arises from comments that have been made about whether the players have been uh, turning up late for training, whether they haven't been taking the warm-up seriously enough. What do you make of that? <laughs> I would say if, you are, if you're judging, I, I guess it's a warm-up for the match uh, yeah. they're re- yeah. referring to. Um, going back to the question before, uh, when you're not on the best run, you look at things and you see things that, uh, no, especially that you judge, you know, uh, things where you think, oh, that cannot be right, it's a warm up or, or whatever, there's different rumors. But I can say 100% sure they put a lot of effort into every single session, every single match, every single warm up. There's no player who don't have 100% commitment in any aspect. If they don't, they're not playing or they're not in the squad. That's very, very simple. And uh, to those guys who's been very picky on p- uh, players being late, there's been two p- players late for training the last two and a half years I've been, or two years I've been here. Uh, one, Sergi, uh, yes, two weeks ago because he had some personal matters and that was um, arranged Tuesday before the Thursday training. But I'm glad that people are following us with interest and take uh, and caring of us. And another one because he slipped over, and that can happen for everybody. I think it happened for me once in the last 20 years as well. Okay, thank you. Now okay. on injuries, uh, you just said that um, with Luis and Emiliano are, are, are out, but everyone else is available to start. Um, th- does that mean that they're uh, all able to finish 90 minutes? Because you've been quite open that Josh De Silva 
for instance, has, has had an injury that he's still mm. getting over. Mm -hmm. Are all those players now who are, quotes available also able to play a full game? Yes. Okay, that's good news. That's very um, good news. Last week we asked you about the January window and you said, I know I want to keep the strongest side together and add to it. Now, Brentford haven't always had a reputation in the January window of adding to their window and occasionally they've let people go. So have you got some understanding from the directors of football about the window or is that uh, an optimistic uh, scenario you're looking at? Um, first of all, we always discuss it, of course. Uh, Rasmus, Phil, Matthew and I, uh, all the transfer windows and, and the strategies. Um, so, but, you know, we, we can't control everything ourselves. We could get very high bids on, on players or some of the players we want to get in, maybe it's not possible or whatever. But in general, our aim is always to keep the stronger side and add to it. So, so it's not only just to talk about it and say in general, talk in general terms. That, that is what we want, of course.